This is Internet Business Mastery, Episode 71. In a world where bosses control your life and thoughts of escape fill your mind, where inspiration seems dead and cynicism rules the masses, you have a desire to break free. You feel the need to take control. Now, there exists a place where the secrets of freedom and wealth are given to those who believe. InternetBusinessMastery.com Free your mind. Hello and welcome to Internet Business Mastery Online at InternetBusinessMastery.com. I'm Sterling. And I'm Jay. And we're here to help you escape the 9 to 5 and live the lifestyle of your dreams by turning your life's passion into a profitable internet business, even if you're just getting started today. On this episode of Internet Business Mastery, we have a flashback episode. Protect your assets, build your wealth, and save on taxes with an LLC. And in the quick tip, we have an easy tool for click tracking links in your newsletter, Twitter, Facebook, and more. We'd like to remind you that if you'd like to get a jump start on creating your own profitable internet business using our proven system, claim your risk-free trial membership to the Internet Business Mastery Academy by going to freeaudiogift.com. So Jay, what's been going on recently? Well, I guess one thing I want to mention is that we, uh, we've got a great discussion going on about the outsourcing stuff. Um, you know, you'll recall in the last episode, we kind of gave our uh, insights and thoughts about the whole outsourcing debate, the morality and ethics of, of outsourcing that we've kind of, you know, that we, we use ourselves and that we encourage others to take a look at for their own business. And uh, I went ahead and put a blog post that kind of went into even more detail about that whole topic. And, and now all of a sudden in the last few days, it's become one of the most commented ever posts on the Internet Business Mastery blog. So uh, great discussion going on over there uh, on the blog. Yeah, I've definitely been keeping up with it. A couple of times a day, I go in and read what's going on and, and uh, see what points people are making. And it's it's actually a, a pretty interesting issue that people are so fired up about it. Yeah. So it's been fun watching. So, you know, definitely if you want to, you know, go be a part of the discussion, go check that out on the blog. Yeah, it's a post. Uh, let's see, what did I call the post? It's a post called, Is Outsourcing Bad for the Economy? So you can go check that out. Right now we're up to, at the recording of this, 37 comments, but I'm sure it's going to be more than that, uh, you know, in the near future. But uh, definitely some great arguments going on, on on both sides. So I encourage people to go and take a look at that. I guess the one other thing to mention is just, as you mentioned, this is a flashback episode. We decided that there's, you know, just, uh, we've, Internet Business Mastery has been around for, you know, going on four years now. Yeah. And so that's a lot of content and some great back episodes in the catalog, some of which have uh, not been on the on the site for a while. And one that's always been very popular. uh, This is what this is an interview that we have in the Academy as well is the interview with Darius, who's a lawyer. And who, you know, in our, I think our first year of Internet Business Mastery gave us a, a great interview about using an LLC to protect your assets and why it's so important to have this kind of a business structure put together. And, uh, you know, which is why we have a whole course in the Academy that talks about laying that foundation and having these kinds of uh, things in place. Uh, but we had an opportunity to ask him lots of great uh, questions. And I was, you know, looking back over that and thinking, you know what? We uh, should really bring that back around. It's been a few years since that played on the feed, and I think a lot of people would enjoy hearing it again. And so uh, we thought it would be cool to have a flashback episode, a two-parter, because it was a two-part interview, just lots and lots of good stuff in there. So this episode and next episode are going to be a replay of the interview with uh, Darius, who talks about how to use an LLC to protect your assets and build your wealth and uh, save on taxes. All right, let's do it. And now, the feature segment. Hello and welcome to this special installment of Internet Business Mastery. This episode, we've got a special interview with lawyer Darius Berezande, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about something we've spoke about recently on the show with uh, LLCs and protecting your your wealth and your assets as you kind of build up your internet business empire that we're that we've been talking about you want to make sure that you protect yourself as well and so we thought the best way to do that is to go right to the source to somebody who knows and talks a lot about the subject so Darius thanks for being with us on on the show uh, on the show today and letting us ask you a few questions 
Thanks very much. I'm really happy to be here, and uh, it's my pleasure to share a lot of this information with everyone and all the listeners. Uh, I've got to tell you, um, I've been a real estate investor for years, and it's real estate investing that actually got me into uh, my first online business. And I've been doing uh, an online business where I sell some of my real estate investment type products for the last six years. But I'm also an attorney, so I've seen a lot of different sides to some of these processes. And one thing I can tell you is that there's a lot of mistakes that small business owners make. And, uh, you know, I'm in the trenches with a lot of other folks who have Internet businesses trying to reduce taxes, trying to reduce liability, and trying to be sure that uh, everything flows on an up-and-up level. And I can tell you there's a lot of bad information out there. There's a lot of mistakes that even professionals, uh, the attorneys, the accountants that you see, make. So... I'm real delighted to be here and share some of this with you guys. This is actually happening to me. Uh, I've actually been talking to Darius, this is Sterling, about uh, you know my LLC. I've been meeting with different CPAs to try and pick a new CPA, and and they're telling me different things. And I'm I'm talking to two different lawyers about it, and apparently they're saying different things than each other. And then I asked Darius some of the stuff, and and uh, he's pointing me to you know the actual information so I can read it myself and I'm just like wow I can't believe how different you know they all think they know but it, you, you got to really find somebody that knows and and is experienced in in LLCs themselves or business entities this is going to be great because you're you're an attorney and you're a business owner and you've also done business on the internet so you're familiar with that as well and so I'm sure you're going to be able to really help us avoid you know some of the the pitfalls and traps that internet business owners can potentially fall into and so that's uh that's what we're, that's what we're kind of kind of looking for and and some of the things we want to pick your brain on today well, it's great, and I, I, I you know I do a lot of business on the internet. I deal with internet business issues every day, uh, and I can tell you, you know, a lot of people are out there thinking, you know, why do I need to do this right now? Is this something I should even mess with? And I'll tell you, there's there's two main reasons, and maybe even three. One being taxes. Uh, they are definite tax savings for setting your business up the right way. But how you're going to get from point A to point B and be sure you're set up the right way, well, that's getting the right information and being able to talk with the experts, uh, the folks that you deal with in an educated manner so you don't end up with wrong information and you don't follow uh, someone who has wrong information because you'd be surprised there's a lot of that out there. Uh, the other issue is liability, and that can come from a lot of different areas and a lot of different sources. And I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but we're going to touch on both those things. So this will be a very important call that, that, that should not only offer uh, some of the interesting things that we have, but, but mainly educate. And so when you get out of this phone call or this podcast, you'll say, you know what, I really learned a lot. Well, good. Well, we talked a little bit about what you do, and I know you have some courses that you sell online as well. Is there anything else that you want to share with us about uh, your background or your experience with business owners and, and business entities? Well, uh, you know, I end up being in a position where I get to work with a lot of entrepreneurs. Uh, as an attorney, I, I end up being in the position where, you know, a lot of people want to start new businesses, and I, and I get to help a lot of folks on the ground floor. Uh, I've been a national seminar speaker um, selling real estate information uh, for the last five years. And so I I'm invariably, uh, you end up with folks that are trying to get started in business. They're trying to put things together. And uh, my experiences have been really almost tragic when it comes to business entities and uh, some of the professional help that folks are getting out there and some of the lack of help and some of the information that's just wrong. I had a guy the other day that called me that uh, spent about $600, had an attorney set up an LLC for him. Uh, the attorney just handed him a bunch of papers. Uh, he literally had no idea what to do from there and was just sitting basically very confused. And the attorney had not done a trademark search on the name. Uh, the attorney also had not included um, what we call designators at the end of the business name. Um, so, like, if you're going to use the name ABC Internet Services LLC and you're going to be an LLC, then when you file your paperwork, you need to put at the end of ABC Internet Services, you need to put the letter designation LLC. Well, the attorney didn't do that. And so the gentleman started his business and waiting for everything to come back. And uh, when he did get the filing paperwork back, it was rejected. And so he kind of went through this long process uh, and paid $600 pretty much just to have somebody shuffle a bunch of papers and do them wrong. 
And I'm not saying that every attorney is going to do that, but the problem is that he really didn't know enough about his choices. He didn't know about what the attorney was going to be doing. And so when you start getting into tax decisions and agreements between parties who are going to be involved in the business, you know, just going in and